So I receive hundreds of comments on my Lightspeed video when people share their experience that how fast their website becomes after following the step-by-step -step procedure. But sometimes people need advanced tuning so I contacted them one by one and helped them. But now it is getting out of hand because I am receiving hundreds of comments, people asking for help. So I decided to create this video where I address the common issues with Lightspeed Cache plugin. Even not just Lightspeed Cache plugin, if you use any other cache plugin, you can apply these things if that plugin breaks your website. So make sure you watch the video until the end. So if you face any issue with Lightspeed Cache plugin or any other plugin, you will have understanding that how we can solve this thing and make your website super fast. Okay, so the first thing is domain key. Normally, if you go in a website backend and you can see there is a domain key always here. So if you don't have domain key, Lightspeed Cache will not work properly on your website. You need to have domain key. Normally, you get this domain key very easily, but if you don't get it, just click on refresh domain key and you will get it. You still don't get the domain key. You can write an email to Lightspeed Cache plugin and normally they respond really fast and you can get a domain key. Second thing is you need to link to quick.cloud. This is a really nice feature. In my video, I explained how it can be beneficial for you. If you want to check the full video on Lightspeed Cache plugin, check this card on your screen. You make sure your website is linked to quick.cloud. This is really important, guys. That's it here. So this is really important that these two you check always. If you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin, these two should be checked. Second thing is the biggest thing, which a lot of people commented on my video that sometimes people said that the images are not showing up. Okay, so this is really important. So you go to image optimization from left sidebar and then you have image optimization summary and then image optimization settings. So when you come here, you can see these options. There's the option here, if you're using WebP versions, it is on. And then you can see image WebP replacement, it should be on. If these both are on, and then make sure you on this one WebP for extra SRC set. In some cases, this is really helpful. If you're not seeing the images, images can work. One more thing about images. So if you go to page optimization, and then you go to media settings, okay. This is option lazy load images, which is checked, which is on. If you have some problem with your website image, which are not showing up, you need to turn off this option and then image will gonna show up. Normally this option is very safe, but if you still don't see the images, you need to off this option and then you can see the images. And now you'll see if you disable lazy load images, images shows up, your website becomes slower. Okay, so what we can do in some cases, if the certain images are not showing up, but rest of images are fine. So what we can do, we can go to this option, media exclude and we can add the url of the images which we don't want to lazy load but rest of the images which are loading fine we want them to lazy load it so you can add the url of the images or you can add the class of the images for example if i go to my website this is my image this is my logo for example this is not showing properly i copy the link and then i come back here i can paste the image link here so now this image will not be lazy loaded this is a really nice feature if you want to exclude the whole class of images not to be lazy road what you can do you can right click on that image inspect element and then you can take the class from here for example i got this class custom logo if you're in any other class on your page you just copy the class from here and you go back in page optimization and here in next line just paste and once done save changes so now this logo on my website will not be lazy loaded so i hope this is all the image loading problem for a lot of you guys who are asking me how to you can solve this problem about image optimization by Lightship plugin. It's the same, if you're using any other plugin which is working with lazy load, you can use the same thing. Every plugin got this option to exclude images. So now I want to address the last thing, which is the most critical one, which is when your website breaks after using Lightspeed Cache plugin. So sometimes you see the website is broken. So first thing, do not panic. It can be temporarily, it, the first load, it can be temporarily. Check your website in private browsing. That's the biggest thing you need to do. Because sometimes your website is not really broke, it's just the cache was not really built. Check your website in private browser and then you decide it is broken or not. Okay, so if it is not broken, all fine. If it is broken, what you can do? So it can be broken because CSS or JSS is not loading properly. So what you can do, you can come to page optimization and then I explain options in my original video how you can optimize the CSS and JS files. So what you can do, for example, if your website is booking completely, come here and turn off all these options. All of them you need to turn off like this all of them just to make it simple I'm turning off all of them some you don't need to turn off but just to make sure that everybody can follow this tutorial I'm turning off all the options and then click on save changes now you go back on your website you refresh your website if your website loads well it means one of these options was breaking your website so now what you can do you can turn on this option one by one turn on this option save changes and then go back on your website and refresh it. Does it still break the website or no? 
If it doesn't break the website, it means this option was safe. So you can continue using this option. Now you continue turning on options one by one and save changes and check your website if it's broken or not. And then the same thing you do with JS settings also. JS settings is the same thing. Normally minifying JS and minifying CSS doesn't break the website. But there's some advanced option like this one, load JS default, it can break the option. So you can turn off these options and you can check the website is loading nicely or no, it's not breaking. And then come back again, turn on option one by one. Also, what you can do, for example, you use the deferred option, it breaks your website and you choose to keep this option off, but the scores are not really high. So what you can do in that case, you go to tuning option, you can just add one JavaScript, which you don't want to be lazy loaded or you don't want to be optimized by Lightfoot Cache plugin. You can add the single JavaScript URL here or same you can do with the CSS script. Also. You can add a single CSS file here, which you don't want to be optimized. Rest all will be optimized and then save the changes. So I hope it addresses all the common questions of you using Lightspeed Cache plugin when it breaks your website or you don't get the domain key or image is not showing up. If you still have any question, don't be shy to drop a comment below and don't forget to check the full video on Lightspeed Cache plugin here. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in another video. Have a good day.